It's a beautiful day in Brooklyn and we are off to get candy. We're getting Snickers, Milky Way, and Twix. Twix. Good? I'll eat it all at once. I I don't eat sugar often. This is my excuse. This one 150. 150. 150. Everything 150. You want a banana? Thank you so much. Trains, planes, and automobiles to get some candy. We are not done shopping. We're not eating candy yet. While we make the trip, I want to ask you, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so I can continue making videos for you all. I feel very weird making please subscribe things. Ooh, we're in Bar Park. Look at this poster. Stylish, stylish. And it says, Sanayatsatin. These are new times. This is a men's clothing shop, men's suits. Democratic or Republican? Or what? Democratic. Democratic or Republican? Why? Why does it matter? We have him on the record with his political opinion. I don't get political in my show, by the way. It's just going in. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what goes in. I leave it to Steve. He makes the calls. We're still shopping for candy. Okay, we have traveled all the way to Borough Park, Brooklyn for our candy trip. We're not eating yet. I want to show you on the Snickers, for instance, that this candy is, hold on, it is kosher. It has a little O-U-D symbol, which is the hechsher. A hechsher is a little symbol, a stamp of approval on a product that testifies that this product was prepared in accordance to the kosher laws, of which there are many, many different complicated laws. Now, there are many different kinds of symbols, different hechshers. Each hechsher is a unique symbol specific to a body of rabbis and organization that issues its approval on that product. So let's say if you have an OUD, it's the Orthodox Union body of rabbis that have approved of the product, but there might be different symbols like you might see an OK on a product, which is a different body of rabbis. Now, some people will eat anything as long as it has a hefsher. Others who are maybe more on the pious end of the spectrum will pick which hechsher they honor, which body of rabbis they think they can trust enough to eat the food that's been uh, prepared under the supervision of that body of rabbis. And that's why we're in Borough Park, because we're coming to see what kind of candy you can get here, where a lot of people don't consider the Orthodox Union dairy hechsher to be sufficient. I really like that colorful summer dress. I do like that they have a shell under it to make it modest. What well, occasion would you wear it for? Filming, it's the only time I get dressed up for it, that's true. Oh, I think we might be in luck here, in the ice cream house. Uh, let me see if I can get lucky with a Twix. Is this it or what? You gotta check if it has a Hesher. Thank you, Keith, for learning. There we go. That's a Hesher for you. Right there. Okay, you can eat it now. <laughs> we haven't paid. <laughs> Snickers has Orthodox Union Dairy. Kosher ripoff version is Smirk. And that has the Hesher's here. Binyamin Halaivi Grubin. And the other is Usha Yanka Vestheim. I, I respect their approval. I'm gonna be eating this. I'm eating everything. I got sugar in my coffee. I'm eating so much sugar today. I'll be up all night. A dollar seventy-five. A dollar seventy-five. Thank you. If you want to get a sense of the experience of being in the store, think the best popcorn that you have ever smelled being pop fresh while you're very hungry. Am I right, Keith? Smells good. It smells good. Yes, what's the name of the store? Tell the name of the store. Ice Cream Center. Ice Cream Center. Ice Cream Center. Awesome. We got our candy at the Ice Cream Center. We stopped here for lunch and uh, a woman who lives in the village of Kirishol where I grew up uh, chatted me up. She said, listen, I want, I want to tell you something. 
you left us, you don't like it, you need to do what you needed to do. But if you don't come back for the good stuff, like the cheesecake and the flowers, then you're really stupid. <laughs> I agreed with her. You couldn't wait. You just had to unwrap the candles. I have been waiting. What is it, like five hours later? This is Twix that I have been carrying with me for quite a few hours while we did other things. And this is Encore. The cooking on this one is softer and fresher. The caramel is more ooey gooey. So this is a little more of an experience than the Encore. Sorry, I'm a pig, but I, this is the process. <laughs> Did not wake up this morning thinking I'll be licking my fingers in front of the camera. <laughs> Snickers, kosher ripoff smirk. It looks a little different. This is flat and wider than this one. Not good. There's a little more peanutty. I am not a fan. Blech. Milky Way, generic, milk munch. I'm not taking such a big bite anymore. It was absolutely disgusting last time. I don't think you should say that. This is better. It's a little richer. By the way, all the candy that you see here is far from all the candy available to this community. There are many, many more types of candies that are produced by a company in Israel called Elite. Elite, however, has had a massive recall because of salmonella that was found in its manufacturing facility. And so there hasn't been any of Elite's candies in the shops for months, if not years now. The lesson of today's um, overdose of sugar <laughs> we went to quite a trek to get is really one that ties into the economics. We paid 25 cents more on the kosher version than on the generic version. By the way, Keith, is there chocolate all over my face? Am I like a baby with chocolate around their face? This candy is more expensive because it is produced on a smaller scale. It is produced locally. It is produced for a much smaller customer base. It is really interesting to see how this community, by not being able to buy from the larger brands, uh, needs to create its own, which drives up prices, but also creates opportunities for those in the community to create products that probably you wouldn't be able to do elsewhere. Trying to sell rip-offs of Snickers and Twix would be a stretch, I think, anywhere else. And what was really interesting about walking on this lively day on 13th Avenue is that you can find the generic in this neighborhood, hence opening a vacuum for new competition. And of course, driving up prices on the customer end. And this ties us back to our, my economic work that I've done on this community. I've done a lot of coverage on this unique economy. And uh, if you haven't seen those videos, a little shout out that you check them out. Is there chocolate on my face? Look up close. Okay, okay. I'm okay. <laughs>